Michelle Myers, National Trainer for Kirsch. Today I'm going to be walking you through a few key helpful hints when you're working with our Ripple Fold drapery hardware and our Ripple Fold drapery system. The most important thing to remember when working with Ripple Fold is that you must use Kirsch only Ripple Fold componentry. I have seen many, many uh, complaints stemming from folks not being able to get either the drapery into the rod or the rod or it attaches too hard or it falls out. And it was because people were buying non-Kirsch, either snap tape or non-Kirsch carriers and then trying to use one of our components and they will not work. So please remember to only use Kirsch only snap tape that you have ordered from a Kirsch distributor with our Kirsch ripple fold carriers. So that will solve many of the problems that I hear just in the fit and how the carriers go together. If you have the ability to order your rod and your drapery and you're able to actually have your workroom and your um, drapery hardware supplier close, I would always recommend checking your snap tape before it's actually um, attached to the drapery panel. It's always great if you can check the snap tape against the rod. Um, so then you can make any changes or additions that you need to in the snap tape because it will be the last step uh, when it's being attached to your drapery. As you can see here in this uh, small drapery example, you don't need any buckram when you're working with ripple fold. Um, also, this example that we're using is a 60% fullness. So that means it's going to use uh, much less fabric than a normal standard two times fullness pinch pleated product. Also, the workmanship of assembling those pleats, you don't need any of that time spent. And it's a really nice, beautiful look with soft flowing folds. Ripple Fold is expanding in popularity. It's getting more and more popular. As customers want the look of grommets, the nice soft model flow, but at the same time, they want the functionality of a standard drapery. So a question that often comes up, other than just how do, what is Ripple Fold, how do we make it, um, is how to actually attach the Ripple Fold panels to the rod. And again, I cannot stress enough, we really need to be using Ripple Fold, Kirsch only Ripple Fold snap tape with Kirsch only carriers. That's going to solve a lot of your problems. When you begin installing your Ripple Fold panel into your Ripple Fold rod, you always want to start at your master carriers. So this rod, for example, is showing our butt master carriers, which that, as the name implies, are when our carriers actually butt up right against each other. Our other master carrier type would be our overlap master, where the carriers will actually provide, a master carrier will actually overlap the secondary carrier. The overlap master is great for light control. It's going to completely seal up any light gap that may happen when the drapery comes together. The disadvantage of the overlap master is that you will have a depression. You won't have a nice continuous rolling fold throughout the body of the treatment when the draperies are actually in the closed position. So that's something to take into account. With the butt master, you would have complete continuity in the beautiful folds and rolls across the entire drapery. However, depending on your fabric and the treatment, you may get a slight gap, depending again on the thickness of your fabric of your drapery. So when we're actually attaching, again, the actual fabric to the rod, always start at your master. Whether it's the, the butt master or the overlap, you're always going to want to start at the master. Mainly, the most important reason for that is because the master is always going to be a bit different. It won't have the standard continuity that your standard whole tape would have. There will be for a, for the butt master, you can see here, it actually is only about an inch apart. So you would always want to make sure you start with those just so that you have the right cadence and flow. Especially if something is eight feet up in the air, you've worked really hard to get it put in space, then all of a sudden you get to the final snap and you realize you put it on backwards. So we always want to start at the master and make sure the master lines up. Likewise, if you're doing an overlap master, there will usually be a stiffener pocket that's actually sewn into the back of the drapery. That stiffener pocket needs to literally catch on this overlap, on this master piece, and then you'll continue to put your ripple fold in. Like I just said, that would be um, a very bad deal if you waited till the end and then you have the stiffener piece hanging off the end. It's just not going to look right. So you always want to make sure you start with the master carrier. So for this example, we'll go ahead and we will begin with our master carrier for our butt master. 
and you're just going to push in until it snaps. Push in the carrier so that it snaps. It does take a bit of force, so I like to recommend to people if you want to wear clean cotton gloves, something like that, just so that it doesn't hurt your fingers if you're doing 100 or 200 of these snaps, it can get a bit monotonous, as you do need to push uh, quite, quite hard. Now when we're looking at the snap or the carrier, you can see these rotate. So another frequently asked question is, uh, people will ask me they're not lining up, they're not in the right order, I don't know how, how to put them onto the actual panel. This is nice because all you have to remember is maintain the integrity of the ripple fold. So just always think you're going to maintain the ripple fold and you can move these carriers to accommodate that. So you can see here, I'm just deciding as I go through, every other ripple will be out, then back, then out, then back, and you just spin your carriers to match up with that. So coming to the end, get this last carrier. Then coming to the end, this one should always be facing out. So you can snap him. So now you can see we have the nice body has been maintained. I have my extra fabric for my return on the side, just like a standard drapery. Um, this is something your workroom doesn't have to include. If you want something very low profile, um, they don't have to put a return on, and you can literally just have your treatment go to that last snap, last snap that we just spoke about. But very easy. You can see when you use all Kirsch componentry, it is quite easy to put together, um, and it's going to provide you nice, beautiful, soft ripples. Again, this is the only the 60% fullness, so we will literally we can offer panels that will have twice as much fullness for a very full, more traditional drapery look. So thank you for taking the time to learn a little bit more about Ripple Fold with me today. If you have any questions regarding Ripple Fold componentry and the Kirsch only Ripple Fold snap tape and Ripple Fold carriers, please contact your Kirsch sales representative or your local Kirsch distributor sales representative. Thank you.